discuss the second most important component of a function that is function call. What do I mean by a function call? A instruction which is going to make the definition active, we call that as a function call. A instruction which is going to invoke the definition, what to be done is nothing but a function call. We have seen the star definition, we have seen the add definition, we have seen the compute definition. Let us now make a call to these functions. So remember that before I start with this particular video, this particular session, you will remember what has been stated in the previous content that is function definition, then only we will have a continuation with this. The examples of that definition are going to be continued to this. So I have function call with this syntax, I have function name, then within these brackets I have only arguments. I have stated some definitions in the previous video. I have just quote the definitions, I will say void star, I have a function by name int add int a comma int b, I have a function called as void compute float r. Now I have these function definitions, the function definitions which I have quoted in the previous session are star, add and compute. A set of instructions which are within this will describe what exactly the function is going to do. But these instructions will not work on their own until unless I give a call to that particular definition. How do I call the definition? The definition is called by an instruction called as function call. Suppose if I am supposed to give a call to the function star, then I will say the function name. What is the name of the function? Star. So let us put this particular star. Does it accept any argument? No, it does not accept any arguments, hence put a pair of empty brackets and then a semicolon. So I have this particular star which does not have any argument list and a semicolon. Now this is nothing but a function call which calls this particular definition. Now suppose if I say that I am going to give a call to add, so I will have add as the title. What am I supposed to add? I am supposed to add a 5 and 6. So I can say first argument as arg1 phi and arg2 as 6 and a semicolon. The, the, the call is not yet completed. Now when I say add 5 and 6, the 5 value goes to this particular definition gets copied into A. The value 6 goes to the definition and gets copied into B. And then the function starts doing the task. When the function completes the task, if you remember the function gave you the value back, it returned a value back. So when, when I am giving a value, the function definition takes the responsibility of collecting the values. I gave 5, it copied onto A. I gave 6, it copied onto B. The function does a task and gives you a value that is return C, if you remember that, return C. So now the function call has to collect the value. So I had to have a variable on the left hand side. Let me say R equals to. So in the first call, I did not use left hand side variable, whereas now I am using a variable on the left hand side. It means that whenever a function returns a value, you should have a variable on the left hand side. When a function does not have any return type, then there should not be a variable on the left hand side. So 5 gets copied onto A, 6 gets copied onto B, a function does a task, the value C which is returned is now stored into R at this place. Are these arguments always constants? No, not necessary. You can store 5 into variable m and 6 into variable n and then I can say add m comma n and then I can say r equals 2. So it means that in the function call the arguments can be constants or can be even variables. m gets copied onto a, n gets copied onto b and then the value which is going to be returned is copied onto r. So whenever a function returns a value there has to be variable on the left hand side. Now let me write the third. Since I have done a 2 you can try the third one. What is the third one? Compute. Is there any written type? No. In the sense this should not be any variable. Function name is compute. Does it accept any value? Yes. How many values? One value of type float. So let me say 5.6 and a semicolon. Make sure that you place a semicolon at the end of a call but not at the end of the definition. So I will say compute 5.6. So 5.6 is a single value. This 5.6 goes to R. This does a task and displays the result that is area and circumference. I am not going to have the area and circumference venture of display. The function is now called. So now question comes where these instructions exist. The definition might exist outside 
where the call resides within the main. So star is going to call this definition, add is going to call this definition, and compute is going to call this particular definition. So we are going to have these instructions called as function calls. So let me wind up this entire discussion by briefing you with the entire stuff. The function call is an instruction which will make the definition active or invoked. The function call should have arguments if they are accepted. The arguments can be constants or variables or even expressions also. There should be a variable on the left hand side of the function call only if the function returns a value. If the function does not return any value, there should not be any left hand side variable. That is about the concepts of function call. Thank you.